Hey everyone, Dale from Danger Mountain Bike Bronco. I want to show you the tailgate table from Outback Adventures. It's called the Trail Gator. This is an amazing tailgate table. I researched pretty much everything on the market before buying this. Um, everything from Rough Country to JCR Opera, the Ford official one. Uh, all of them just seemed to kind of lack, in my opinion, in terms of the build quality that I was looking for and the features that I was looking for. So I wasn't looking for a Molly panel version to mount stuff on the tailgate. When I go off-roading, this thing is totally packed out. I mean, see, I'm already, I've already got a fridge and a you know shelf and stuff in there. So this whole area is completely stuffed full of stuff. Um, I was looking for a really high quality table that would last the test of time for me. Um, again, I looked at pretty much everything on the market. The only thing that I felt came close to this was the Goose Gear tailgate table. Um, the reason why I didn't go with the Goose Gear is because it's a little bit more expensive, not much, but about a hundred bucks after everything's said and done. I got this one for four hundred and sixty nine dollars. Uh, again, I'm not associated with them. I paid my hard-earned cash for this. Uh, chose this because I wanted simply the best one on the market for my use case. What made me decide on this was this over the goose gear was one price was a little bit cheaper. And then two, this is a no drill option. It was really important to me to get one that I didn't have to drill into the tailgate. Um, this one is actually mounted with blind nuts. This has these pin releases on the side, which are really nice. They're kind of really nicely tucked away here within the Bronco tailgate, as you can see on both sides. And they simply just spin down there. And I'm filming this without a tripod, so you can see there, as soon as you do that, it releases it. And then we'll do the same thing here. And then you simply just lower it down and as you can see, really nice, lots of space. So the backsplash is powder coated 6061 T6 aluminum and the table is 304 stainless steel. This is really thick, if you can see, um, quite a bit thicker than the table itself. Um, this is the black texture coat, the black uh, textured, excuse me, the black powder coat. And they also offer it in two different finishes. They offer it in stainless on the back here, and they also offer it in a hammer tone, which is similar to the black. It's got a little bit more gray finish, and it's got a little bit more texture. Um, so I went with black, um, suited my needs. The other thing I like about this is that, again, this is a no drill option. So it is held in place with eight blind nuts that they've custom manufactured to fit specifically inside of the existing slots on the Bronco. So when you pop your cap off, you'll see that there's slots where these blind nuts fit. And again, this is why I chose this over the goose gear because the goose gears, are, you have to actually drill the holes. And so um, again, I chose this because it was a no drill option. The blind nuts are incredibly sturdy. This thing doesn't move and I'll show you in a second how it doesn't move. But one of the other features that I really like about this is, you know, there's, there's a lot of space, right? So you can have whatever you want. Like I said, this thing holds a lot of stuff. Um, kitchen utensils, uh, you can put your jet boil, you can put a bigger stove, additional stoves. And what I like is this feature here, is this magnetic utensil holder, which is really killer when you are set up at camp, you want things handy, especially while you're cooking. So that's really nice. The other thing that I like is that it's got a bamboo cutting board. And the cool thing about this is that it slides out both to the left and to the right. So as you can see here, and it's custom fit to avoid this piece here on the Bronco. So again, the build quality on this is what swung me in this direction. You know, as they say, buy once, cry once. Um, for me, it made a lot of sense for my build. One of the things I really, really love about this is not only is it the construction amazing, and, but they've really thought about all the little things and the little things are so important. Everything from the clips here to the slide out, tail, to the slide out cutting board, um, to just, you know, the way that it fits in here. I mean, this thing is solid. It doesn't make a noise. As you know, when you're out on the trail, 
and you're four wheeling, um, minimizing noise is important to some, but it's really important to me. I hate those those noises. Rigs are already loud enough, so um, this helps quite a bit uh, in terms of just one less thing making a bunch of racket in the back while you're hitting high speed desert roads or even just, you know, doing rock crawling. Um, it's really, really important to, for me to have a quiet rig wherever I can. And this thing is just amazing in that regard. One of the downsides to this outside of price is it weighs quite a bit. It's 26 pounds. So um, adding 26 pounds to the back of your tailgate uh, can cause some issues, especially if you're running larger tires. So again, I'm running the, I'm running the method 705s with BF Goodrich uh, 35s. Um, not super heavy, not as heavy as a 37, that's for sure. But um, weight on the tailgate um, is a factor that you definitely want to think about, that uh, it's got some heft. Um, but that's a good thing, in my opinion. The weight limit on this in terms of weight carrying capacity is 50 pounds. Um, you could probably put a bunch more on it. In fact, I've seen some videos and talking forums of guys sitting on these, but uh, you're not going to find me sitting on it. But um, you'll have no problem throwing up, you know, your stove and everything you need to like cook a good meal at camp. So uh, let me know if you have any questions about the Trail Gator. Happy to answer them. Install was super easy. I got it installed in about 15 minutes. Um, the one thing to make sure you consider is that the tailgate of the Bronco is not level. So that's why uh, they include several holes here you can see here there's a hole here here and here there's three of them and based on your particular bronco and the height of your bronco and what kind of lift you have and what kind of tires you have um, you will choose the hole to use in order to level out your table when it's on the back of your tailgate so again really really cool piece uh, I absolutely love it. It served me well. Uh, also, make sure you uh, take a second to subscribe. Uh, a couple more videos coming here in the future where I'm going to talk about my fridge build, the Goose Gear rear plate system, the JCR Molly panels, and cargo shelf. And then also I'm going to do a bunch of other Bronco videos with an actual just walk around of the Bronco and uh, talk about some of the things that we've chosen to do on here, everything from the rock rails to the uh, Icon Stage 8 kit, which is just amazing, but that deserves its own video. Um, so make sure you're subscribed and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks so much.